everybody, welcome back to Crystal's Collectibles. Today I'll be sharing with you my Lego Mock of a Bookstore. Before we begin, please remember to follow my social media accounts, link down below, to give feedback and interact with me through Twitter or Instagram. Or follow my other YouTube account. Because of the new changes to YouTube, most of the, my videos here are kid friendly because they do involve Legos, which are kids' toys, and other kid stuff. Now, I don't know about my comics, but I just mark those as kid friendly too, so please remember to follow me on social media down below to interact and give feedback on my videos and mocks. I might even start doing polls on there on what mocks to do next and show off some of my Lego minifigures on Twitter. Anyways, let's get started. I made a bookstore because I wanted to use a lot of the 2x2 two two and 2x4 two bricks, the bigger bricks you can build with. So it is a really small bookstore, but it's one that holds a lot of books. And two, I wanted to use a lot of my printed pieces because I'm not using them um, a lot. And three, I wanted a bookstore in my town because a lot of my characters do read in their free time and there is small bookstores in a lot of towns, so I figured it's a great place to start getting rid of some of the stuff and have it be almost like a realistic bookstore. You can see there's a big bookstore sign using different pieces. No, I might put like clear studs on the, I was going to put some of these on the sign, like I did with the other signs in my town. So that way it has like a light up feel at night. And I might still do that. I'm just trying to see if I got enough because I don't get a lot left. Some of these aren't even the studs, but. If I do, I'll make a mini update on that, but for now, it's going to be a dark sign because i got to check that out. As you can see, there's a door and a small book sign for eye view when walking around town. Got a little... Satellite that works the uh, automatic computer and locking system and a air conditioner. It is a little bit bigger than the other ones on my other town, um, my other buildings because some books, like collectible books, do need to be in certain temperature or they start getting all weird inside because some of the books in here are collectibles and some are for school they have a large AC to keep the books at perfect temperature so nothing happens to them
Before we go inside, outside of it, there's a trash bin. A lot of the places are going to have trash bins inside and out to keep the city clean. And a little garden using different plant pieces and different colors. I just figured that would be a cute little thing to have on the side of the building. That people can... There's still enough room for the minifigures to walk. But I just thought that would be a cute little thing like... Maybe it's a little public garden or... The two owners figured it would... Help the environment by doing... A lot of green next to the buildings. Help out the bugs with giving them food and stuff. Now this is a modular building, so it's easy to take off the roof. Inside, it's just, there is a blue and orange light that keeps the place lit. And this piece is just to hold the roof together. So, as you can see, it's a multicolored too. Multicolored floor. In the back is... A computer and clock. Now you may think, oh, you can just grab the books if someone wants to steal them right out, but that's not how that works. The computer keeps a shield around the books and keeps the books in place no matter how hard you tug. You cannot get the books out until you pay for them on the computer. The clock shows exactly what time you bought the book. So it helps the owners know what time people come in to grab books. And the computer keeps the books safe. Now I'll take all the... These are connected by the plates, the stud plates like that for minifigures. All these shelves are connected by those so they're easy to take out. I'll take them all out and show you what books are available. As you can see there's two different styles of bookshelves. There is a small one with the small plates and bricks and a 4x4. Four four. So starting with the small bookshelves, this is all the books available. A car book showing how to fix your car because a lot of people don't know that. And it's good for auto shop class. A book about dangers of electricity. A fire safety book for kids to teach them what to do. A book about bones and the human body for medical school, a book of maps. This one's just a book of old myths and stories. A Lego book showing all the themes and sets available. It's a big book. That one cost a lot. This one's a book about ancient history. 
ancient maps and old timey maps. This one's a book about computer viruses and how to fix them. This one's a police academy book. This one's a book about the supers and everything people know about them so far. This is a book about magic, card magic. And how to perform them. Going over here. These four are children's books, big children's books, like there is in real life. Book about music. Snowflakes and weather. A big bug book. And a book about nature. All these are big children's coloring books. There are some like this in real life where it's educational and kids can color in them. And they're huge so the kids can sit on the floor and draw. I don't get any right now but if I pick one up I'll show you in a future video. This is a bunch of children's chapter books and comics. Starting with one about the Bat family and how Batman was a force in Gotham until he left. And how Batgirl took over and Batwoman. This is a book about a horse named Dolly. This one's a book about silly faces and jokes. And this one's an itchy and scratchy comic book. All about their adventures. The next one is about famous sports teams and their wins and losses. This one is how to be safe in water and what to do while on a boat. This one's the history of Wonder Woman, of course. And this one is a do-it-yourself activity book. That's why there's lines and stuff. It's It's almost like, it is like this one, where there's different activities you can do from writing your own story, hence the lines, to drawing and coloring, making your own comics and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool book, but it's almost like that one. But it's completely blank, which means you can write anything you want. That's good for kids and new art students to help them be creative and get better grades. You can see. Let's do that. And it's back in. Uh, along with the rest of them. The last one has different stories too. The question mark is riddles and like big world questions like why are we here? What really killed the dinosaurs? Like big questions everyone has. This is a joke book. Different jokes for different ages. This one is winter sports in the Olympics and how they came to be in the Olympics. This one's a travel guide to all the best skiing destinations and best place to 
learn how to ski and ice skate everything winter. This is a book of roller, the world's best roller coasters and where to go if you go to roller coaster enthusiastic kid best roller coasters in the world and this one is all about fruit health and how fruits and veggies are good for you and which ones are the best to have on certain items and which ones are the best to have at certain ages. So it's a healthy book for kids or parents or even chefs. I'm just gonna go back right in here. This is just gonna go in like that. It's only held in by these two jumper studs right here. So, place it like that. Put the sign back on. And, put the satellite back in. And, Ta-da! Everything's back in and on. Well, I hope you will en all enjoy this tour of my mock building. And please follow me down below on my social media accounts. And hope you all have a fantastic day.